And welcome back. This is Coketown for another War Rights event. Hope you all had a good week. Um, it is Friday, and I do have a guest commentator on for this one. It is Mr. Brutish from Ninth Corps. Hello, hello. So if you can, just introduce yourself briefly, you know, uh, you know, from Ninth Corps, what you do with them, you know, what, what Ninth Corps is all about, kind of just get, uh, a, get a feel. Yeah, uh, Ninth Corps is one of the older regiments in the game. Uh, we have four major regiments in Ninth Corps, Ninth New York, 51st Pennsylvania, 4th Clarks and 20th Massachusetts, and uh, I'm the Lieutenant Colonel of Ninth New York. Uh, and, you know, I just help them run Ninth New York and do what involves with that. Stuff, man. And then you guys do events, uh, NA and EU, yeah, uh, NA, throughout NA, the week, NA, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both. I think tw uh, 20th Massachusetts is our EU regiment. Nice, nice. All right, and then we have a TSA, Southern Aggression. This is map number one. It is a bloody lane. Right now, Super Pop 227, 110 on the CSA, 117 on the attacking union. And I'll just go through the units as we go. Looks like VA has a battery here, so one gun. Swing by to the CSA team and see what they have on infantry. Looks like we've got Legion leading the PB. Damn. We've got HL under Cadet KMGG. We've got your boys, Ninth Corps, under 2nd Lieutenant Bing Chungus. Then we've got, let's see, 1st VA under Sergeant Connor, 9th LA. Then we've got Major Kett leading 10th Tennessee. Seventh Tennessee in there as well, and then MSG under Lieutenant Hoax. So the infantry is now live. Um, what are you gonna? What What do you? Um, what can you tell us about Mr. Chungus there? What's his kind of leadership style? What are you expecting to see from him on this match? Uh, a lot of aggression. A lot of aggression. Yeah, oh, even as a defender. Yes. We're We're gonna see a lot of aggression from Chungus here. Uh, would you say on a scale of Prattley to not Prattley, how much? Uh, not Prattley. Prattley. Prattley's one plan. Uh, every map is to no, attack, uh, no matter what, if he's defending or attacking. All right, so maybe, maybe a quarter of Prattley? Yeah, yeah, quarter Prattley. Quarter, quarter Prattley. Quarter, Prattley. quarter cup. Quarter cup. All right, I like it. All right, let's take a look at this Union team. They have the EB under Crazy Legs. Let's see, then we've got um, Hood's Recent to Drink, which <laughs> I believe is Joker from 19th Indiana. And we've got MWB here under Willie Stone. Lieutenant Danson leading the 123rd. Captain Hood leading the 42nd. Let's see, then we've got let's see Lieutenant, uh, Colonel Lightburn leading the 4th West Virginia. And NYV led by Frog. I feel like I'm missing some people here. Ah, some people in the back here. Who is 12th this? 12th New Jersey and 79th New York. Yep, they were a little bit further back, but they're moving out now. Odd start to this bloody lane game. You usually see Union just kind of full sin. Oh, eighty thirds in the middle of the court. What? Is, what is this? Oh, what? <laughs> I. I don't. Okay. The eighty third. Hey, at, at least, at least they know the entire Union team's in the corn now. Yeah. Well, 83rd just got killed uh, out of line there. Um, I guess that's a forewarning, but uh, I don't think this is Steam Chat. So, this, so I, I. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, I guess so. I, I guess know. I guess I'll tell them when they when they spawn back in. And Union's just gonna. Oh, well, they started the charge and now they're kind of running back to the corn. Yeah, it looks like both teams are pretty well consolidated here. And now, now they're going for a joint push. It seems like they're going to try and circle CSA in this little curve right here in the Boyd Lane. Looks like MWB has moved down here. EB has joined him. Yeah, it seems like they're trying to split the CSA force in two. But they're just kind of splitting themselves up. And we have... Who's going full left here? Hood Hood is taking 42nd PA full left here. To see he, if he's taking, uh... he is. Do you think he was trying to do a juke maybe to open up this flank? 
Well, I, I, I firmly believe if you lose the right flank on at CSA on Bloody Lane, you lose the map. And it seems like Knife Gore here is going to move right. I think MSG's with them to see if they can stop Hood from getting into the into the road. I think that's the aggression you were talking about, and I think that's needed here. And it, if you're, you know, if you're knife core here, if you're CSA, keeping it at a shooting match, and with MSG, you have bucking ball here, you're gonna outshoot Union, and it seems like the entirety of 42nd is just stuck in this corner with their flag down. No! Yeah, I think this attack is gonna kind of collapse here. I don't know if the flag is... Okay, now it's up. I was wondering if it was glitched, but now he was just trying to get it up. You can't shoot us. We're invincible. Drop that flag, drop that flag. Yeah, here comes MSG and the rest of Knife Corps just to wipe out this, the rest of this 42nd. Yep, get some good tickets there and knock out the flag. So what do you think about that reaction there from uh, Mr. Chungus and uh, supported by MSG? Per perfectly on time. I mean, you, you beat them from getting up and over into the road. You made them stop on the snake row and you can just oh, use your bucking ball to your advantage and just wipe that group out. But we have another group coming down the road. It seems like NYV with a uh, frog leading them. Have you got the load? See if they're going to stop Aim and down this fire line. down the road. Prepare. Yeah, I don't know about stopping out in the middle like this. Got flag about face at the sprint. About face, Here's break the loads. It seemed like they just did the classic uh, maneuver, the shoot and scoot. It seemed like they're running back up the road. So right now, CSA is just completely holding the line, which is the entirety of the bloody lane. No, they are spread out now, but... Um... We'll have to see where the Union goes next. So overall, looking at it, where would you, uh, if you were trying to coordinate this Union team now, where would you try to uh, wait your focus at this point? Uh, I, I, honestly, I would just full send right and get as aggressive as you can. Because um, I honestly think if you take the right side of this map, or the CSA right, Union left, it, it's a done deal. You can get into the corn, you can start making pushes through the corn into the side of these units holding into the curve on Blue Lane. It just gives you so much more maneuverability than trying to charge through an open field from the corn on the CSA left. And then do you think the CSA has enough forces over here to block that? Or do you think uh, do you think they got a good disposition here? Or would you I, I mean, honestly, as long as, long as the, the team on the left side, uh, the CSA left side in this curve on top of point, as long as they can react fast enough, it doesn't really matter where they are. You... You have so much time as defenders to to maneuver your forces from the left or right side of the field to to, to meet the the union before they even get to the fence. I mean, you saw with Knife Gore, PA had to cross the, this entire open field, and CS uh, Knife Gore just had to go what 30 feet to their right and beat them, and they started moving way later than 42nd did. So as long as long as the units on the left can react fast enough, you should beat Union before they even get there. So they got the better interior lines. They got time to make those adjustments. Union's got to. And I think that kind of goes back to the, what you were saying earlier of you, the win this, you need to mass. It's hard to juke them. It's hard to, you know, kind of have a distraction force and tie down units. You really got to mass up forces and knock them off. Oh, well, it's the fact that CSA has buck and ball as well. I mean, they're, they're just going to eat you alive with their buck and ball. And then, oh wow, great CSA already hit on, um, who's over here, 42nd on the right. Yep, on top of the little ridge line right there. Uh, yep, yeah, it's making them retreat back behind the death below. And you can just see the amount of Union bodies that are on top of this hill. I count at least 10 here. Yeah, there was a lot of ninth core shooting at him as well. I'm not sure how much the already killed of that. I'm not seeing too much jam, but it did knock him down at the very least and let him know. Artie's got that spot, and that was the first VA Artie crew. And it looks like we have a charge going down on the CSA left. At least they're trying to get to these rocks back here, but they got their flag knocked down. Let's see if they can get someone to get that up. Yeah, there's only really one unit moving to oppose them, and that is Legion with the PB. Oh, God! Captain on Brace, 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 brace. Come on, then. Come on, then. Oh, Legion's doing brace, work brace, with that pistol. Kind of holding off this push all by himself. Oh, yeah, here comes the secondary unit. It is Mr. Lightburn. Come round. Come round. I'm one. Oh, whoops. 
Yeah, it seems like Union's going to win this charge, but barely. If another CSA unit will come in, they could easily wipe this group out. Yeah, looks like more Union is flooding in now. I think it's up to these remnants here to hold off until this Union can get down here. But even then, I'm not... I'm not I, again, I'm not as big a fan on this side for the Union as I am on the other side. But um, as long as you can get in, it's not bad, but... Garrison the fence. Garrison the fence. Be sorry about that. We got decimated on that. It seems like ATL is moving further left to support this CSA group. Yeah, it looks like yeah, a good chunk of first VA, HL, some PB coming back in now. Well, if HL gets up and over the bloody lane, you know, you, you have a little sur a skirmish force on top of the corn, but that's only, you know, six to eight guys. They can get up and over. They have yeah. perfect side shots into them, which I think is what HL is. They, they, they do, do, but they don't have too much time. If you look up the corn onto the northeast. Yeah, they got to hurry up. The entire <laughs> the entire army of the Potomac yeah, with yeah, the crest of... Yeah, if they, if, they, if they get caught out Behind facing this, this way, that could be very bad for the HL. We love bucking ball. Up and over, roadside. Gentlemen, let's go. Free for All right, looks like they reacted in time to get back in. Up and over. Up and over. Last time we went in, they were going to fucking shot. Recover arms, recover arms. Fall back. Yeah, they got up and over, so. It should reload to here. Yeah, right. But now it seems like we have a full send charge on the CSA left. It, it, I think it really, at this point, everybody on the CSA right just has to recognize that the entire Union Army is on the left side of the map, and they, and they need to move now. Yep, and it looks like they're starting to move out. Major Ket, at least, is trying to get 10th Tennessee going over. But yeah, now this, now this is becoming a problem. See all these Union elements flooding in here. Yeah, but let's see. Let's see if they can do anything with with the ground they have covered. I mean, if they just kind of sit here on this left, they're just going to get shot to death. I mean, you, you have to go in. You have to go down the road. You can't just line up and volley down the road. Especially with CSA having buck and ball, you're going to get outshot. No, I agree. And right now they have the advantage. Charging out, I think, would be the best option for them at the moment. And then maybe catch the uh, those units on the far side. But it looks like uh, the uh, order of the day is volleys. Which, you know, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna complain about. You know, I do I do love me some volleys. But it seems like we now have ninth corps moving off the left and they're going through the corn. See if they can probably flank this group. Well that's that's the problem I have with the volleys is you've given time now for the rest of the CSA. Now there's nothing left on that corner. They figured out this is everything. So as a you know, opposed to fighting, you know, two thirds of the CSA, now you're fighting the full CSA. Now you just have two, you got two uh Union Rambos just chilling on the right. Seems like they have taken the CSA right flank single handedly. Uh looks like two, yep, two twelfth Jersey guys. You know, hey, they they got it. You know, they're holding on to it. But hey, look at the tickets. You know, Union, Union, CSA are now dead even on tickets. Uh, well, before what four minutes ago, CSA had a slight advantage. So, I mean, it's working out for Union here. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. No, it's it's the, uh, the shootout is getting into their favor now, and they do have a decent amount of time left. It is only 31 minutes. And it looks like we got a forward movement here. Yeah, it seems like, uh, no. Seems like about to line up for a volley. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, not a, not a charge, but just occupying some more ground, kind of pushing them back. But I mean, if I'm CSA here, you're about to go into the 30 minute mark. Still battle ready. You have a, I, I would say CSA has maybe a slight ticket advantage on Union. And you know, if I'm CSA here, I'm happy with that. Especially if Union caps here, I'm not. I'm not too upset about it either. So you wouldn't cap right now as a Union? No, I would not. Because uh, that that just opens you up to letting the CSA recap and get every single ticket gain you have made back. But even though it's right now, I mean, it's about even on tickets. Well, now, 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 Union has a significant advantage on tickets. I mean, slight, slightly. I mean, you know, it's you know. 
I mean, as, I think as defenders, especially on Bloody Lane, if if you're even on tickets or if you're slightly below like this, it's a it's a significant disadvantage. You, you to win as defenders, you have to at least be up a half morale state. I think. Yeah, I think right now they're. I think right now they're in a bit of trouble, to be honest with you, and I, th I think they're going to cap right here. And the question is, where does the CSA attack to get them off of this? I say you just kind of full swing through up the corn and use your bucking ball to your advantage, get up and over, charge them out as fast as possible. I mean, you got to look at the, where the CSA team is. Half of them are half of them are the fence line on the corn, half of them are across the road. If you can just wipe out the union that's on the fence line next to the corn and peace mail, it's just a shootout across the bloody lane with the rest of the union, and you got bucking ball. You should win that, theoretically. Oh, uh, they should, but right now, at where the CSA is, I think the long-distance fight, I think, favors the union. Oh, yeah, 100% it does. That's why you have to get up in their face as fast as possible, I think. Yes, I think you're right about the corn. is probably the best egress, you know, the, the you know ingress route. Trying to get in there and, and mask it and get close. Because right now, I think... You, you, yeah, just doing this distance shooting here, I don't think is going to work out for the CSA. It, is TSA on on the five second flag timer or the ten? I don't I don't remember. Um, I don't know. Because if it's on the five, retaking this this union this union cap position is going to be a little tough. I suppose I could 10, I suppose I could find out here if I just spawn in real quick. Alabama company, I in the fucking corn. Cross the road to your start. Uh, another amazing CSA already hit. Let's see, it looks like it's on the 10 second. Well, in that case, it should be easier for CSA to retake this this cat uh, this point of contention theoretically. You think so? I, I would have yeah. I I thought the opposite. I thought it would have been a little bit tougher to, to thin out the Union. Well, with the five second, you can't really rely on shooting and then charge when they're weakened. With the five second, it, it, it's so hard to, to knock a regiment down uh, because with a, with a respawn every five seconds, you, you kill three people and, they're, and all three of those guys are back in, 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 in 15 seconds. Very true, very true. I, I'm not a fan of. I, I see why the union's doing it. I'd be interested in your thoughts of, of how the union is now kind of positioning its forces here. Uh, I I think it's just a, I think it's asking asking to get wiped piecemeal with EB at the top of the hill. That's what that's one two three four five six. That's at least ten guys out the battle. So if you swing in with your full team. With the numbers dead even, you outnumber the Union by, by with 10 rifles. Uh, and you still got 4th, and I understand why they're back here, but you got other forces back here, 4th West Virginia, 19th Indiana, watching the back door. And that's fine. They're they're right next to the battle, but for EB to get into the charge from the top of the hill, they're going to get there, and they just got hit by Artie. They're going to get there really late. Well, and, the yeah, really and, quick, and, so. and if the CSA looks like they might be thinking about a maneuver to swallow them up, and that's a flag out there too, so that's a lot of... Respawns that won't be happening, but it looks like the road. he is moving back down crazy legs. So yeah, that's MSG and first VA up the hill. This line. Looks like ninth core is in the road. Ninth core hold. I do agree with. Uh, be curious your thoughts on this. I, I do agree with closing the distance. Well, EB. EB's getting flanked from the left, and I don't... I, yeah, they just noticed this entire first VA on their left, and I think they're about to get wiped out on top of the hill. Oh, and, and, and Hood pulled his men off to deal with it and not be where he needs to be now, I would say, down on the point. Yeah, if I'm CSA, I'm getting in here as fast as possible. You don't really have to worry about ticket loss here because every single... Every ticket you're losing, you'll get back when you recap. Gentlemen, push... That is true. You can be a little bit more committed here. Now we'll see if, uh, oh, good already shot. Delay in the 42nd. Yeah, we got a good old slugfest on point now. Yeah, and then see, 4th West Virginia has not moved up to aid yet. And, and just like that, CSA has just got wiped out. No, they got, it was a good attack, but uh, it was enough. 42nd hitting them on the side there was enough. Yeah, I guess I guess a lot of 40 seconds still at their low, so they just hit the fence and just killed everybody. 
Looks like MSG is still at the top of the hill. And those two guys are back there. 12th New Jersey went back to... Uh... Single-handedly reclaim the right. <laughs> I, these guys deserve the Medal of Honor. Recruit oh, diddles oh, and uh, right. private in, uh, infants. Yeah. At this point, the Union's almost a full morale state up. Seven which, minutes forty, uh, which you, is this? Yeah, this bloody land is not too unusual. Well, y'all, again, if you recap, you get all that back. You, you literally go an entire morale state back. But CSA has to start thinking about the Union might want to start, you know, strong arming them and just hold point for seven minutes here. You yep. gotta start to thinking of different ways of attack that uh, allows you to take this point. So we talked about uh, you said the corn as one um, avenue. So how is the union? Would you try to defend against uh, a maneuver like that? Uh, exactly what they're doing. Just sit uh, sit across the road and fire into them as soon as they hit the fence, and then they get up and over. You have, yeah, and they get up and over and try to get a, get across the road. Okay. You. That, it may not look like a long distance from the spectator camera, but in game, running from one side of the bloody lane to the other without dying is incredibly hard, especially with this many guys on the snake row. Yeah, and it looks like looks like the CSA is going to try for the Union right now in a mass push. What do you think about this maneuver? Yeah, kind of kind of wipe out this group on the Union right, whoever this is. Uh, Fourth Western Virginia. Try to wipe them out first. Get up and over, and then go down the snake rail on the left side. You're on the same side as the Union, so you don't have to get up and over. I think it's a better attack route, especially from spawn. That's not really that far of a run from spawn. Uh, CSA spawn, so you can kind of just flood it. But they're they're just stopping and shooting, which I don't think it's what they need to do. They. Just, there, you know, six minutes. You're you're kind of running real low on time to be able to recap this point. And I think you also lose, in addition to the timepiece, which I think you're absolutely right on, is you lose the element of surprise. You know, now the union can kind of turn around and look at you and like, okay, versus yeah. you might have had some momentum going in if you rolled it up. Well, I mean, if, if you have any game sense at all and any 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 way to tell, I mean, you can kind of tell if you're sitting on the Union curve, which they, they are guessing now. The entire CSA team is on this right. You don't have to worry about a, a unit sneaking behind you and getting into your bag. If everybody on the CSA is on this right side, you can just do exactly what Union is doing right now and just move right and, and, and stop this assault. Yeah, we'll see how this charge goes. I like this kill box that the Union has set up here. A nice intersecting lines of fire. Now Hood is going to send a charge in. Well, this whoever this group is across the road needs to get into them. It seems like it's a mixture of Knife Corps, MSG, AB. These guys need to get into the fight. No, I, I would agree with you. It's 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 sometimes tough. You're thinking, okay, I can I got time to get my loads in, but. See how quickly that uh, that ended. Oh, they're jumping over the fence. Yeah, now like you can. The uh, union's gonna hold the line here. Barely. They almost lost that, but I mean, you still got a lot of guys across the road in the corner. Now it seems like CSA could bail and go here and start flooding this. They have a way shorter run than Union does. That is very still, true, and it's still, still got an MSG at the top. Yeah, of I was gonna hill. say MSG still at the top of the hill doing what they're doing. Shot, we do not follow orders from Just kind of hanging out. Yeah, I mean, I guess if they're trying to snipe flags, but I don't know. I, I haven't seen too many even flags go down. Yeah, I can hear Hood in game right now. He's talking about CSA making a charge, and he knows exactly what's about to happen. CSA is going to try and bayonet and, and just flood this point before Union can get any reinforcements. But uh, it this looks is like that, that, I was going to say, it looks like they're taking a minute to get out of spawn here. Yeah, it seems like there might be full kidding and going, for whatever reason. Yep, I heard kits my decoys, full kits, so... Yep. I mean, you're running out of time. You have three, you have three and a half minutes before this game ends. You, you have to go now, especially with the flag timer being 10. You know, it's going to take a while for these reinforcements on these flags to get in. And I think you just need to get in here as fast as possible. Yeah, I definitely think the five second it would be a tougher sell, but I think yeah, you might have a whole window here with a ten second. 
I mean, look how much Union's running in from Maine right now. You have at least, what is this, at least 20 guys? A good it's chunk coming. of the 42nd and MWB looks like they're going to mess around with MSG over here on the top. That's much better. Holy! Looks like MSG got the better of that engagement, though. I did watch the MSG guy execute another friendly <laughs> on that. Yes, sir. I hear you. So now they got two minutes 30 remaining. Let's see where those reinforcements are at. So looks like 42nd is now on the way. Yeah, it seems like Knife Corps is going to get on the left side of the snake route and get into the field while the rest of the team is on the right side. Okay, right I mean, gentlemen, yes. so yeah, this is now or never for CSA. And honestly, if you recap, you're not in a bad position. You're kind of a quarter down engaged, so with 20 minutes left. Well, I, 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 I'd imagine by the end of this year, they'll be down to taking losses. Definitely, if they keep. And if I'm Union, I'm just going to keep throwing away as many tickets as I can here to see if it gets us a little back. Which I think is what, what they're doing right now. It seems like CSA should win this engagement. I believe they will. There's some 42nd coming in, but I think it's too late. Well, MSG charging from the back, so they're going to they're gonna clean up a little bit. First we're seeing a hoax is about to go in and try to wipe out Sif New York by himself. Uh, I'm you. Fuck off. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you're dead. Fuck off. Looks like they've got it. Yep. Now, if I'm CSA, I, I think you immediately, you, you let one unit stay back in cap and you send everybody else immediately right down the road. Because I think, I, I think Union is about to just full send it right and try to take this right side. And just kind of fight back down from that way. Yeah, I think that's what's about to happen. Looks like the Union flags are getting out of there, which is not a good thing for the CSA. Only two of them. So you took out half their flags. That's not terrible. No, but it's not great either. Should have gotten all those flags, I'll be honest with you. You had MSG behind you. There's, there's no reason you shouldn't have gotten them all. Like, at this point, everybody but one group needs to start moving to the right side of the game. Or the right side of the map, that is. We gotta stop. We gotta oh, stop you got the advance party by 12th New Jersey. And down there again. These three men, they like it. They, they're like, nope, this is our quarter. Unless the CSA plans to not hold the right. No, no, I just heard Hilks tell everybody to start shifting right, so it seems like they're going to try to beat the Union down here. Um, well, the Union's a little bit scattered. shot. You got this one element right, at yeah, the top yeah. of the hill. It's going to be Knights of Indiana first on the right. Looks like HL is coming to meet him, but good amount coming behind him. Here we go, here we go. If Night Team just stands here and, and volleys and tries to hold us, they're gonna they're they're about to get molly whopped by the entire CSA army. Yeah, they got a hook coming up behind them though. Oh yeah, never mind. Yep, yeah, they're fine. Yeah, I think they were just a little too slow holding this right, and now now Union holds this right, and you're never gonna get them out of this right side. And it's a bit of a bit of a funnel here. And it looks like that's the end of the attack. CSA is falling back now. Yep, it seems like they're gonna fall back, kind of hold point. Hopefully, they can have a ticket advantage on Union by the end of the map. And if you're Union, this is exactly how you want Blow Your Lane to go. Early cap, make it a make it a tough battle for CSA to uh, recap, and you're at 27 minutes, and both teams are at the top of taking losses. I mean, that, that's, that's, that, that is textbook Blade Lane Union. Uh, yep, nothing really. It works for a reason. It's, it's tough to beat. Now, at this point, you know, if you were kind of directing the CSA team, what would you... Would you do anything different or kind of just... Uh, I honestly don't know. I think I think the only thing they could have done to prevent this was get to the right as fast as possible and prevent what's happening right now. Because now Union could get... They're not doing it yet, but I know they're going to do it. They're going to get up and over. They're going to go down the corn, skirt the out, out of bounds, 
because out of bounds is in the corner for Union, but you can skirt it. Uh, like I think the valleys in the corner are inbounds. They're going to skirt the out of bounds. One unit's going to go down the corn, and the rest of the team's going to go down the road, and they're just going to wipe out CSA. And if they don't wipe out CSA, they're going to make their tickets bleed. Right. There's no one spawning in. I won't crouch if there's anyone. It seems like they're just all amassing on this right side for the charge. Yeah, I mean, it looks like there's some union on the top of the hill, but really not too much. All back, and honestly, Union, you have plenty of time. You can just sit here and shoot it out with them too at long range. With with their forty twos, and you have rifles. You're you're at the advantage now. Yeah, I think I might wait until I get the two flags respawned before I did the final attack. Might be what they're thinking. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Because honestly, if you send a little bit more Union on top of the hill, and if you want to just shoot it out with them, like you send, you know, 19th Indiana or 42nd PA at the top of the hill, you have. Great crossfires. You have these two units on the Union right, WV and MWB. You send one more unit at the top of the hill in the corn. You can do rise and volleys on this defilade on here on this military press. You have great crossfire on the on the CSA Sentinel point. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I, I well, they're moving forward. I don't know about going this far forward here. That's Fourth West Virginia. I think they're getting a little bit too close to bucking ball range, but. Well, CSA is falling back. They're giving them the ground. Seems like they want to try to conserve as many tickets as possible. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they might be trying to force Union to cap and taking losses and possibly do a, uh, a you know, a, a, a quote-unquote Sevy strat, which is push the attackers in the last, uh, last stand when they cap on taking losses with the infinite over overtime. That might be what they're thinking. We might see a little stalemate where Union well, refuses to push up and CSA if refuses to push up. And we just sit here for 20 minutes. But it seems like Union's going to push up here. Excellent work, MYV. Really good I don't shot. believe there's any turtling rules in TSA because I think that's what happened last week on uh, Eastwoods. Turtling rules. Not really, no. I mean, it might sound kind of lame. That might be your only avenue of win here for CSA. Company, is if you kind of completely Company. pull out, make you oh, recap, and then uh, you just keep forcing at point Company. until you can Company. take point Company. and then Company. push to their spawn and kill as many of them as possible. As possible. Yeah, that might. Well, actually, you're going out a little bit. CSA is moving out a little bit. So I don't. Yeah, I don't think they're going for the turtling strategy. Yeah, most likely. Not. Get in line. A lot of these CSA shots landing a little low. Jesus, we're just gonna get turkey shot here. Yeah, yeah, they're in a bit of a bowl now. It's not much, uh, I think we're just on the inevitable course at this point. Well, yeah, and we have, like I said, I EVs now going up to the top of the hill, and we have yeah, great crossfires on CSA here. Yeah, you, have, you have this group far right, you shoot it into them. We have EB, who's in the middle of the top of the hill. Then you have the rest of the USA team that's just shooting from the left, and now CSA is getting shot from three different angles. Yep, got him in a nice little kill box, and he just got to tighten the noose here. And look at these tickets. I mean, it's showing. CSA is halfway down taking losses, and Union's... What, barely lost the quarter? Yeah, and this has not been that much time either. This has not been much time at all, to be honest with you. Yeah, and EB's doing exactly what I say. They're running up, doing rising volleys on top of this military crest. Yeah, they are taking some, some some fatalities doing that. Oh, uh, they are, but, um, you know, they can afford it. Company, down this side of the flag. Prepare. Let's see if I can find Ninth Corps. Where are they hanging out at? Oh, they're right in front. That's where we like to be. Yeah, I'd say maybe another three minutes, and they'll shoot them out down to breaking. I mean, if I'm Union here, if I'm if I'm trying to meme a little bit and you know, impose my will on the CSA here, I would shoot them down until they hit last stand. Oh, 
Oh, they could do that. I, you know. I mean, you have 21 minutes. You have 21 minutes to get them down yeah. all the way to last stand. That's not a lot. That's plenty of time. That's that's not really that hard, especially when Bloody Lane. If Bloody Lane, I if, might be talking talking some shite here, but I think Bloody Lane has one of the greatest ticket differentials in this game. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's just, numbers, it's one of the higher. It's like yeah. Like, it is very high. I, I can't recall the exact number off the top of my head. I know it's listed in the uh, public server. EB's up here, sir. Yes, that's what Union's doing. They just got a nice little uh, battle line here across the bloody lane. This is kind of kind of historical to what happened at the actual battle, to be honest. I think. Yeah, this is uh, I think I think so this is about what happened. Yeah, I'm not gonna try on the history. <laughs> I can't recall. <laughs> Here, I, oh, I have Joe. That's right. I have Jehovah for me if I ever can do another stream with him. He's a uh, he's, he's he does a lot. He actually uh, he's actually doing his certification right now to be uh, one of the I forget what they call, but basically guide over at the Antietam battlefield. Yeah, that is that. I uh, I took a trip to Antietam a few months ago, and uh, I talked to one of our, our guide for Antietam. I went to Gettysburg and Antietam, and the uh, the battlefield guide test is uh, quite extensive. You, you pretty much have to know the answer to any conceivable question about the battle that you can think of. Oh, those guys are impressive, man. They put a lot of work into it. Oh, Nightscore tried to do a little sneak volley and then they're falling back. It's like Hood rotated uh, his guys to the other side of the field, though. See, so not doing a bad job of uh, keeping somewhat even on the tickets. But, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. It's just not, not, not going to be enough, unfortunately. I mean, they would, you know, it's, it's, yeah, unfortunately with even, you know, even on this match usually means a loss, but. Well, you never know. I mean, if you get lucky and somehow send Union into final push before you go to the last stand, you do have a little, oh, wow, great CSA hey, already second, hit. Uh, you do have a little bit of a chance because, like I said, the, the Union, you know, I, I've lost this map at Union a couple of times, and usually how you lose is getting sent to final push before CSA go last stand because that run from Union spawn to the point of contention is a lot longer than it is for the CSA. Oh yeah, absolutely. Back on fence reload. Back on fence reload. Okay. Okay. And ninth court being aggressive though. Here's Big Chungus can try to get a sneak volley here. Do a little shoot and scoot. You know the pattern is shoot and scoot. Never fails. They drop the flag. Drop a few of them. And then they scoot. You the parkster. Yeah, nice little tactic. What do you what do you think about that maneuver from Mr. Chungus? Uh, very well done. Uh, he has my full, um, my full my full approval. Get that flag up, Parker. Tommy, make that man a captain. That's all I gotta say. Oh yeah, I bet you did. Flag down. Checks one ready. Checks one ready. Sorted. I mean, CSA is bringing it back. It, it, they had a half of morale. Uh, ticket lead on CSA, and now they barely have a okay, what, yeah. a little bit Qu under a quarter. Ah, uh, it's it's yeah, it's almost dead even. Uh, a big part of that is the yardy here under uh, Private Baron here, back for the first VA. Looks like Hankel's with him. So yeah, these, this, uh, these guys have been putting in work. Yeah, these yeah these uh these four guys back here have been going uh hard in the paint, as the uh, kids would say. Company, pre hold, company, hold. Yeah, I'm watching them. I'll call out next time they're about to fire. Seems like they're aiming at the big union group that's on the fence. And these are this is some tough shots for the CSA already. This is not easy. You can barely see this the union group over the corner. And they're about to fire right now in Kotao if you want to get a shot of this. 
Yep. Oh, nope, shoot. Uh, wrong cornfield. <laughs> well, they, they, they literally just dropped like eight Union guys. And I see the after effects of it. In fact, I'd say the CSA might be ahead on tickets right now, if only by a smidgen. Yeah, it's it's dead even now, and it's I I at the rate that they were dropping the CSA tickets, you had plenty of time, but now you're 16 minutes, and I'm breaking yet. You know, you might have to start getting a little aggressive here as Union try to try to push their tickets down. The flag. I mean, look at this Union force that's left on this right side. It's yeah. Union goes breaking before CSA. That is a big swing. That is yep. a big swing in momentum. That, that that was good discipline firing and and some good tactic. Good arty from the uh, first VA. Some nice uh, little maneuvers that, that were going already on. Shot going down. That, that one, one seemed a little long. Yeah, just slightly off that one. And I'm I'm seeing these Union flags on this Union left just constantly going down and getting picked back up. Yes, I mean, so now as the Union, what would what would you advise them to do at this point? Get more aggressive. I think sitting back and shooting has, has kind of what led to your downfall in this game so far, and I think you just, as we've seen Union start winning this game earlier in the match, like 10, 20 minutes ago, they they took this point of contention by being aggressive. And it seems like that might be what they're doing on the right side here. 40 seconds seems to be amassing for a giant charge with WV. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's got enough ass to it, though, to be honest with you, to, to punch through the CSA line. Well, they have to see it coming fast enough. You know, they have to keep their heads in the swivel down here on the point of contention. If they don't look left fast enough, they're going to get wiped out. It seems like we have ten Tennessee, mixture of 10 Tennessee. I see Captain Grimm down here from MSG and HL, so. Well, we'll see. Here it comes. No, my only worry about this, if I'm Union, is you're going through a open field, and as you can see, they are getting chewed alive going through this open field. Yeah, I, I don't think this had enough mass to it, man. I'll be honest. No, it does not, because because honestly, after the 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 vaulting update that happened a couple years ago or a year ago at this point, attacking a straight rail fence dead dead on, it's not a good idea. And as we just seen, Union just got massively wiped out on that charge. And they are dead to a man. Well, not to a man. One guy's running away. Uh, grill hands is trying to get out of there. And oh, there he nope, goes. he did go. So now Union flag down in the middle of the field. Yep. Uh, it's Let's see, who's up here in the corn? Recruit Webb from 4th Wisconsin. Uh, and then EB, recruit Big Red yep, Devil, might down. be going for this flag. Let's see if you can get it out. Up a, uh, I, I think bucks. that's just five tickets you're giving. And there he goes. <laughs> Five tickets. Yep. You might think, oh, I'll be a hero. I'll get the flag. No, you're not. You're just going to give. Just leave it. You're not going to get it as one dude. I'm sorry. See, now here comes 19th Indiana, but they're by themselves. CSA has kind of brought this back here. They're, they're ahead on tickets now. And then if we get down to that final push last stand, I think they're on pace for it at the moment. Well, here's the thing, though. As defenders, especially in Bloody Lane, you cannot get comfortable with having a ticket lead like that. And I, I've i lost games, CSA Bloody Lanes, and defenders on other matches. I think Reno's fall one time. We were up by 75% on tickets, and it, in a blink of an eye, that entire ticket lead was gone uh, from one unit getting wiped. Uh, so you, you, do, you can't get comfortable with this ticket lead. You have to stay on your toes. And make sure that not a single unit on your team gets wiped. You gotta stay yeah. concentrating. You gotta stay. Make sure you get the in lines, not not getting uh, isolated. To be honest with you, I think the NWB over here is asking for another one of those uh, cornfield attacks, but we'll see. They might be uh, wanting to stay a little bit closer to home now. Ninth core, that is. See, the Union has massed at the top of the hill here. Well, we'll see how that push goes with more guys. I think you're just kind of asking to get wiped again, pushing a straight rail that dead on. 
Unless they go far right and try to go where uh, uh, PB is. I think the far right is the angle and fight it up. Um, to be honest with you, I think that's the angle you take. Information, but spacing in the head. But you need a little bit more, because right now they got Frog out front. You can't have one unit going in by itself. Yeah, and he's going in. And he's he's getting shot to shit right now. And then some other union is also going in. It's like a wide, like double envelopment they're trying to do here. We'll see if this works. Let's see how let's see how CSA responds. We have knife core. We got big chungus on in the corn, about to fire across the road into what this is hood with 42nd PA. So let's see how this gun battle goes. And then the rest of the CSA team is moving left to uh, support this left push. But Union, Union on the left is stopping at these rocks, and I think that's a death sentence. Stopping at these rocks, you're just going to ask to get shot to shit and get Oh, wiped. this 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 is a mistake. They needed to go and wipe out PB and take that position. And same thing, 40 seconds is just get stopping this. the stray rail, and they're just shooting. They're not getting aggressive. No, it's... it's And the problem is you might lose your flags as you're doing this. Yeah, and HLs have been back to the right, exactly what they need to do. If this group on the left is just going to stop on the rocks, there's no reason to have half the team over here. Move the rest of the team over to the right and now shoot the Union like you've been doing for the last 10 minutes. I think the Union's committed now. I don't think they can easily get off of this fence. Already coming in again? Yeah, that was another great already shot. Took out... Took out a lot of 42nd and WV. And I think it's just going to come down to shooting here. I mean, CSA still has a decent ticket lead, but like I said, you cannot get comfortable with this. No, but I mean, I, I am. It's, it's more than half a morale state now, if that's the. Uh, you know, the ass, that we're, you know, the cushion we're talking about. I think they've gotten the half morale state. Another good hardy shot coming in. Flag down. Flag down. Flag down. Flag down. Get the other flag. I am... Oh, it seems like Knife Corps and First VA might be getting... No, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Flag back over here, goddammit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get our flag down. Yeah, I take that back. I mean, CSA is, CSA is doing exactly what they need to do. Play defensive, play conservative, and kind of let the Union walk into your shots. Yeah, Hood does not sound happy. He never sounds happy. He wins and he's mad. Uh, he's happy when he's mad, you know? It's, yeah, it's... I'm with you, Dirty Mike. I'm here. Do you boys me? Oh yeah, yeah that's definitely. all we love. We all love Hood. Alright, looks like there's another forward movement here again on the side, but again, it's not everybody. Yeah, yeah, 42nd, 42nd pretty much got wiped on that fence and they're pulling off of the left. And this Union group again is stopping at the death, the death trap, these rocks. I mean, it's decent cover, but I mean, you got you got to look at these guys. You know, they're all kneeling. NYV is all kneeling. Every single def is a skirmishing thing. Well, when we say it's cover, it's it's cover from the guys, you know, on point. But it's not cover from PB. Yep, that's exactly it. And every 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 single one of these tickets is a skirmishing loss. They're all crouching. Yeah. <laughs> We should probably get the fuck out. So, I mean, that's good positioning by PB over here. Keep shooting, keep shooting. And good shots by them, but it's... This isn't working, this isn't working. Now working. NYV is pulling they off the rocks. People. They are leaving. Uh, lag. Now they're all scattered about. It's going to take more time, and they might hit final push here in a second. Back up and over, reform. Um. Come left. Company, left, oh, and CSA, uh, CSA company. Union has completely lost oh, control of the field of battle. Yeah, I mean, they the still flag. have a few Rambos here so on the left. But, I mean, that's it. No, they don't, I mean, they, you know, okay, they control that far side, but that doesn't really get them anything at this point. No, no not, not really anything. And every single second you're wasting is, is precious at this point. You only have seven minutes. Now the tables are turned. Literally 20 minutes ago. Union had the point with seven minutes left to, to counterattack on the counterattack timer, and CSA had to make an aggressive push to retake the point. Now Union is in the same exact position. They have seven minutes left 
to get aggressive here and try to win this point back on a final charge. And uh, so, I mean, looking at how the CSA did that, what, what do you think were some of the key elements to letting the CSA kind of reverse this trend? I, I think just not being aggressive enough. I mean, you, you see it time and time again uh, when Union or CSA has a ticket advantage. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, not, down. Not, not the Union falling. Yeah, we if them aggressive. How, how did the CSA... Oh, I think just holding their position, making sure everybody dies in formation and just and cleanly uh, just out shooting the Union. I mean, that's kind of what we just saw. They, didn't, they weren't doing anything real special. They were just holding these fences in the corn, holding this line in the bloody lane, holding the snake rail fence, and just outshot the union. It's plain and simple. And again, like I said, making sure every single death is in formation. I mean, those, those guys that were on the rocks a second ago on the left, they were all crouching on the rocks. And yeah, you might have better cover crouching, but if you get killed instead of one ticket, that's three. And that's, that adds up very quickly. Yeah, if, if, you, if you can be shot, you, by definition, do not have cover. Yeah, yes. Exactly. You, you might have some, but you do not, you know, if the enemy can still kill you, then you are not, you know, fully protected there. He's got a number for us over here, guys. Yeah, five minutes remaining. To be honest with you, I did, in a moment. Another, dude, they, these guys are already, are, <laughs> they are the MVPs of the match, in my opinion. Oh, that that already crew has been doing fantastic. Go. Go. Company. Oh, go. And it looks like they're gonna try a mass charge one final time here. Well, I think just going across the field and hitting the snake rail is not gonna get you anywhere. Yeah, I might be wrong. They might take this and send CSA in the last stand to win the game, but as you can see, HL and Temp Tennessee are getting to the snake rail before they do, and they're just gonna unload on them as they hit the snake rail. And yeah, there's the final push. Final push. And I think Union does have a foothold on this far right, so I, I, you know, CSA if, has to if, be quick. If, if they could keep their flags up and kind of fight up the road, they might have a chance. And that's what they're trying to do, but they're 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 just losing too many guys. And I think CSA has to get aggressive and counter and counter charge this. I I'm, I'm amazed the CSA is not counter charging this right now. I think they're. CSA is about to hit last thing any second here. They're pushing. They know they have to. This is their last chance. Shoot those rifles at the top of the hill. Not a single one gets out of here alive. Team, make sure it says and CSA hasn't hit last stand yet, though, which is very shocking. I am surprised. And all there's three flags now for Union. And you got to remember, every single time someone picks up a, rifle, uh, a flag, they lose a rifle as well. Yeah, that is poor discipline for those units back there, not keeping those flags out, to be honest with you. Come on, Yankees. Come on, Yankees. Come on. You guys. Come back. And that's all but one. U yep, and there it goes. There, there goes the last Union flag. Let's see, Volunteer Clarence trying to get out of there. It's going to come down to I think I think Union's going to get one more bail and go uh, charge here, and it's going to come down to this if they can send CSA in the last stand and somehow uh, get more guys on point. I, 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 I think it's too late now. They CSA's had time to get reloads, and they're going to come in all stringy. No, I mean I think they have a chance. I think I think you can definitely, you know, kill up kill more people than there are a point. But I think you're right. I think CSA getting loads here and Union having to go bail and go, and in some cases probably nothing and go. I think it's about to be another Union massacre on the fence. Yeah, they, the key was they needed to keep those. I mean, not the key, but if they had kept the flags up and were able to keep a fight going. You know, even for another 15 seconds, so when this comes in, the fight's oh, going, I think it would have been better. I'm but letting them get reloads, that might be the ultimate difference. But we'll see. I mean, Union still definitely has a chance. They can keep flooding this and kill kill more CSA I, I'm guys. amazed the CSA is not, well, I guess they're fine sitting back, but. Yeah, I, I, would, I wouldn't push up the hill. I think that's a little too aggressive. I think I think sitting in the bloody lane and making them come to you across an open field is the way to go. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. 
And the way Union's coming in, though, they're they're just trickling in as, as it's, a giant yeah, it's, force. It's too, it's too stringy. It's too, yeah, it's... You know, you have the rest and of the they're, And they're not day. picking Nine up Corps. flags as they're going, which is angering yep. me to no end. Ninth Corps just got up and over into the road. Now they hit the straight rail yeah. fence. Like, right so now, I would flag. say, yeah, everybody off flat, you know, keep your flags up. Nobody spawns in but officers. You just keep those six shooters coming in. Yep, and that's it. That is a CSA win on Blurry Lane. What do you yep, they got it. What a what a game. Yep. Any uh, any final thoughts? I I I honestly I think both sides played really well with a lot of heart and I think it just came down to the union not being as aggressive as it needed to be and not being as coordinated as it needed to be. Cuz uh I will say in a non-steam chat event like this it is a little easier to defend because you can kind of just all sit together. Um but I think union was just a little too uncoordinated and a little less aggressive than it needed to be. Great game from both sides, though. That was that was a pleasure to watch. Yeah, it was a tough one. Kind of went back and forth there a little bit, um, which is always fun to kind of have a dynamic battlefield and not not know the uh, conclusion, you know, early. Be like, okay, this, you know, it's going to take the advantage. So, uh, again, I uh, want to thank Brutish uh, for joining from Nice Core. And we have one more map to go. We might have another uh, commentator joining us. So, that's it for now, and I'll see you all for the next map.